Hi, this is Ben Wei, and today I am going to talk about my pocket rocket hand plane design. It's a really high performance hand plane, made to ride with one hand, of course. And size is relatively small, nice and compact, uh, made out of a polyurethane foam. It's like a surfboard, last in four ounce cloth, and polyurethane resin. So you get a really lightweight design with a lot of float to it. So you don't need too much surface since you have that extra float for takeoff. Um, one thing you can see off the bat is instead of a strap, I've got this grip pocket and this kind of ergonomic handle grip. It's a really sure control. It lets you point the nose down on the takeoff, help pull you into the wave, and also just give you that lateral stability. Uh, this is a, a design that has fins, so it's not sliding down the face. It's gripping, and you need all of that support that you can get from the grip. Um, another thing with the grip is you don't usually need a leash unless it's really, really crazy conditions. Or you're really far out. You can get a really solid grip, and this will not get ripped out of your hand. Uh, this is locked into the board from the inside with uh, chopped fiberglass and resin mixture, and on top has another patch that goes over the laminating of the deck. And so it's just anchored in there, super, super strong. Um, the rail design, you got a nice soft entry into a hard edge. And back here in this end section, I fluted out the wings. So you just get that much more bite and that much more sensitivity on the seat spots. Um, if you look at the bottom, you got a single cone cave running in through this little entry rocker zone. It's the water coming in nice and smooth and leads it into these deep channels. We got four deep channels, and that just helps keep that water directing straight through for speed. Um, you can see we've got these nice long keels over the majority of the board, and these are uh, glass ons made for a surfboard. However, instead of uh, the way surfboard glass ons are mounted on top of the glass, this is actually going about uh, just over a half inch into the board. This is also set in with a fiberglass, uh, chopped fiberglass resin mix. Super, super strong. You can slam into the sand. You don't have to worry about breaking these things off as well as the fins get hit. It's not going to pop up the glass like a uh, glass on it. Um, the thing with having fins on your board is you're not limited to where the board can hold. You can pick any track on the, on the steep spots and you can hold up in that highest part of the pocket. So when the barrel is really tight, you can barely fit in there. Um, normally you'd be sliding down the face and getting hit with the lip. You can stay up in that pocket, keep tracking, and also um, instead of just using the surface and the edge for drive, you've got drive coming from the fins. You can literally come off the bottom and project down the line. So um, not just for sliding down into closeouts, but you can actually get a lot of barrel travel and you have the opportunity of actually making it out of the barrel. Um, you can see the tail's still got some thickness to it and that keeps that noise pointed down. Uh, more pressure you put into this, the more drive you're getting out of it. Um, if you look at the fins, they are straight up and down and no toe in like a surfboard. So the straighter you have your fins up and uh, the more vertical you have your fins up and the straighter they are, the more efficiency you get out of the fin, the more drive, the more speed you get. And so uh, since I don't really make these for doing cutbacks on the face, it's for driving in the barrel. So we've got hard edges, deep channels mixed with these long keels that will just pull you down and uh, keep you held in the track. So a lot of the um, hand plane designs out there use a deep concave and a sharp edge, which will also give you hold, but uh, you're relying more on your body and your body surfing ability. For this one, it's a lot easier to ride. The board's doing all the work and uh, you rely less on controlling the board with your body as much as digging it in there having full control and being able to control the speed forward and back uh, using this grip handle. It's a nice, small, compact, fun design. Really strong and sturdy. Uh, gonna last 
a long time, even with bashing and strawberry and everything else. Um, one last thing with the grip handle, as opposed to a strap, uh, in your, if you're in beach break conditions, you have feet coming towards you, you don't know if you want to go left or right. Uh, with a strap, you have to take your hand out, put your other hand in, and by then you've already lost the wave. Uh, with the grip handle, you have a nice quick exchange, and you can decide to go right at the last minute, decide to go left. Uh, that's one huge bonus about having the handle as opposed to a strap. It's also kind of an ergonomic shape, not a lot of stress on your wrist, and it doesn't leave your fingers, uh, fingers and wrist uh, to get injured uh, with the board twisting around. And a nice sure grip, keeps everything nice and stable. And so this is a fun, fun little board. Uh, hope you give it a try. Anyone who enjoys body surfing or using a hand plane, this is a whole new feeling and uh, probably speed and control you've never experienced. And so, if you are interested in having me make you one custom, get a hold of me at Fenway5050 at Instagram. Thanks for listening.